a prep day. My raspberries have decided to go rogue. All things to inflate dirt. It's just an expensive mistake. Definitely found poo clumps. But um, it looks like a four-year-old did it. Use your knees, not your back. Use your knees, not your back. How darling. My hair is plastered to my head. Can you tell? Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, but I've decided to play hooky from church today. My brother and I decided that we wanted to take mom out for a morning coffee. This is something we I don't think ever done before and it just felt like the perfect day to do it. The sun's out, the weather's gorgeous, and it just felt like the thing to do. I do have something to show you though. Mom and dad apparently forgot to give us our Easter presents. They gave it to us this morning. A little late, but so worth it. Do you want to see what it is? I'm dying. It is. <laughs> This guy, it's a little coffee. <laughs> and it's got a little handle and little legs. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about it. It's so soft, by the way, and I knew he needed to be front and center somewhere, so I'll probably take this pillow away, take this bear away, and put my coffee right there. How darling is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> most random amazing thing. Kurt has got one too but it's different. It's like a hot chocolate situation because that's more his vibe but I'm definitely a coffee girl as we all know around here and I just love it. <laughs> Taking my current read with me just in case and then I think I want to pull out my cowboy boots. These didn't fit me originally. They were a birthday present from my parents on my 30th birthday. And I love them, they're darling, but they were just a little too tight, a little too pinchy. And then I changed my lifestyle. And all of a sudden, my feet shrunk, which is not a thing I realized could happen when you start a health journey. <laughs> so now these boots fit perfectly and I can walk in them now, which is very important because as we all know, boots are made for walking. But um, Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Mom got her coffee and it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't drink it. <laughs> Too pretty to drink. We have a rocky table. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> so I ended up getting my usual cold brew with mocha and lavender, but I've never gotten cold brew here, and I have to say. And I got a large too, so. <laughs> I've got a lot of coffee to drink that I don't particularly like, but that's okay. Like I told mom, coffee's coffee. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, I, I'm not gonna lie. But it's my own fault. I've never had cold brew here, and I mean, I didn't know. It's just an expensive mistake. I know. We did get a uh, taco chip cookie to split. It's gluten free, I think she said. It's delicious. Uh, so moist, perfect texture. It's very good. I'm glad I only got one though because I probably would have eaten the whole thing. <laughs> I'm glad we split it. I tend to forget how sweet things taste. Just because you haven't had a sweet thing in a while? Not, not baked eggs. Well, farmer's market season's coming up and I always bring home something baked from the Amish booth. Not a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's not a healthy thing. <laughs> Good can be good, good can be bad. Yeah. Bad can be good, bad can be bad. The <laughs> very uh, wise. Hmm. I'm the modern day Nostradamus. <laughs> Why did we invite him along? I forget. <laughs> At least in his own mind, yeah. Back home from the coffee shop, my plans have been completely derailed. 
by the rain. I was planning on doing some gardening outside. Wanted to go to Meyer, pick up some dirt, because these days you have to pay for dirt. Can't just have any old kind of dirt. <laughs> and wanted to plant some of my seeds for the spring season, but it's raining now which means I can't do that. I think that'll be tomorrow's job. But for today, my nails need doing and they're finally long enough to where I can do them and it'll look nice. They don't look like little stubby, weird, why did I bother nails? So I wanna look for my nail kit. And for anybody who doesn't know, I have never had long nails in my life. When I'm not biting them, I'm breaking them just from using my hands a lot. Hold on, where can I put you? Maybe I can put you here. I have to dig through the chaos that is this part of the loft for my nail stuff. So yeah, having nails, long nails, is quite a new experience for me and I'd like to keep them long, keep them from breaking, so I thought I would do my nails on this sleepy Sunday afternoon and wait out the rain. Anybody else have pillows that just never stay nice? Not because you don't fix them all the time, but because when you actually lay on the couch, you don't lay on the couch with the pillows as they are. You stuff them all behind your head or into comfortable positions so you're comfy on the couch. It just never stays the way you want. I haven't done my nails in a long while so I figured you might be interested in what I use. Melody Susie, bring your beauty salon home. It has an LED and UV nail lamp. Looks like this. You get one of these contraptions. And then of course you have the base coat and top coat that you need to cure everything. I'm pretty sure I have all of this linked in my Amazon storefront. That way we can twin and have pretty nails together. I'm gonna have my laptop set up right here so I can watch some YouTube while I do this. But before I settle into this, I wanted to mention, if you're not following me on Instagram but you love getting updates on my book, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, as well as keeping up on what I'm reading at any given time, that's the place to go. I've been posting reels on Instagram, giving you glimpses into my Night Sky Project, which is the book I've been writing and editing and perfecting this long while. I introduce characters in an out of context kind of way, giving you little sneak peeks, garnering interest. So if you haven't followed me over there and you like hearing more about my book stuff, you might want to hang out with me over there. Hold on, let me put my hair up and then I'll show you one reel. Basically the stuff I'm posting on Instagram is to help garner interest so that by the time the book is ready to be put into your hands, you're already hyped, you're already on board, you are ready to experience the adventure that is my Night Sky Project. I don't know about you, but I follow a lot of book accounts from indie authors or first time published authors that garner interest in their book that way, and I think that's so genius. So that's what I've been doing. Giving you pieces of the story without giving anything away. I'd love to include that as shorts here on YouTube, but I just don't know how the copyright music stuff would work so I haven't I've been saving that just for Instagram anyway all that to say if you like info on my book cast joy official okay now let's, let's see <laughs> it's a little while later finished one hand did everything I needed to except for the top coat went to get the top coat and the brush handle was stuck in the lid and the brush itself was stuck in the bottle. I tried using a nail file to get it out. I tried using tweezers to get it out. It is unretrievable, which means I couldn't finish my nails. So I thought, okay, what do I do have? I do have just normal top coat. It's not the kind that goes with this light contraption, but it's a top coat. It's incredibly old which I only found out after applying to my nails because it like congealed into something goopy it doesn't look that bad on camera but if you were to look really close it just looks like a four-year-old did it I'm mortified I've done one hand and I refuse to do the next one I think tomorrow when I go to Meyer to pick up dirt for the garden I'm gonna pick up a top and base coat it's time for new you know it's just it's time Super fun learning the hard way, I'll tell you that though. I'm like stuck between being really amused at the situation and really annoyed. I haven't decided which I am leaning more toward yet. Good morning, love. 
vibes. It's a new day. Starting the day off right with a nice aroma to the room. Just about to have breakfast. My breakfast, I need yesterday's lunch. <laughs> so I've got some chickpea noodles with hamburger meat, some Stoke coffee, and some lactose free milk. And also a banana because they're yummy. You know what? It's a little dark here. Hold on, let me turn on a light. There we go. That's much better. Now you can see me, for better or worse. As you may have noticed, today is a sleeveless kind of day. It's gonna be gorgeous and warm. The sun's gonna be shining as far as I'm aware, which means I can finally do some gardening, which means we're gonna do what we do every year, go to the store, buy dirt, because we live in a world where you have to pay for dirt, plan out exactly what we're gonna plant and where. Two of the things that I want to have in my garden are already gonna come back for this year. So strawberries are annual and raspberries are annual and those are the two things I definitely wanted to have in my garden. Not only because I love fruit, but because my niece absolutely adores going out and checking to see if there are more to pick every single day she's here. So it's mostly for me, but it's partly for her enjoyment too. <laughs> the only issue is, and I'll show you this later, my raspberries have decided to go rogue and not stay within the confines of the uh, gardening bed that I set aside for them. No, no, they had their own idea of where to grow. Don't worry, I'll show you. Strawberries, thankfully, are a little more well-behaved and should pop up right where I left them last year. The only things I wanna add to this year's garden that isn't annual and won't pop up just on its own is lettuce and corn. Now I have to double check when I'm supposed to plant corn because I've never done it before and I don't have any farmer friends to ask. Although once the farmer's markets start rolling around, which will start in June, I'll have plenty of vendors who are farmers that I could ask. I think I can wait until then because it runs in my mind that corn is planted later in the year. If any of you lovely subscribers are gardeners yourselves, I would love any and all the advice. But first, breakfast. Okay, we are in the car, finished breakfast slash lunch, got far too distracted by Instagram and posting book themed reels on there. It's gorgeous today. The sun's out, but there's also cloud coverage, which I'm kind of grateful for because that means it won't get too unbearably hot working outside. We're heading to Meyer because that's where I've gotten dirt last time, or soil, if you want to be politically correct about it. And it always seems to work well for my plants, so I'm gonna do that. And I also need to pick up a few beauty items. Whoa! Okay, she's an old lady, I'll let her slide. <laughs> really turned into my lane instead of the lane she was supposed to be in, but she was an older lady, so I'll let it slide. She waved like, sorry. <laughs> oh, I was gonna be bad if it was like a normal person, but an old lady. I can have compassion for that. Let's hope inflation hasn't made soil too expensive. Of all things to inflate, dirt, dirt. Really? I'll be so mad. <laughs> Ten dollars for a hair clip? Are you serious? No. The music's really loud, so I'll have to talk loudly to block it out, but I'm looking for smaller hair clips. I have a bunch of big ones, but nothing like this. My big ones don't quite work for pulling my hair. The top and sides of it back, it's great for all of my hair, but sometimes I don't want that. I want some of it down. Here's these ones. I'm not convinced they'll work. They don't feel solid, you know? They feel kind of cheap, but the actual stuff that feels solid is like 10 bucks, and I'm not spending that. No thank you. I'm not that desperate. I will use what I have. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use, and it smells so good. Honestly, I would use it for the smell, even if it didn't work on my hair, which it does. Ooh, do they have it? No, they're out. Dang it. <laughs> I cannot find this darn curling spray anywhere. They're always out, it must be good. Curly haired girlies must be a big fan. I can't find it, but I need it. So I see lots of nail polish, but I don't see any of the 
top coat or base coat. There's this. This is top coat miracle gel. Maybe this is it? Jeez Louise though. I don't think that's the kind I'm looking for. Because I don't see a base coat, which tells me that it might be a gel consistency, but it's not actual gel. I think we struck out on that one. Let's see, where is Veet? Oh. Here it is. Perfect. So I found two different kinds of lettuce. Here's spinach, which I prefer, it's better for you. And then lettuce here. I'm just not sure which would grow better. These are $5 each, $6, sorry. Maybe I'll do that. Add some spinach to my garden. And they do have strawberries here too, which is good, just in case mine don't grow back for whatever reason, but they have for two years running, so I think I'm okay. vegetables on it that's a good sign although there is no price which concerns me So tempted to look at the spring clothes, but I literally have no more money, so I'm gonna have to admire from afar. I don't think the camera caught it because it blew over, but I got it in. See? I am so proud of myself. I not only lifted that huge, heavy bag of soil into my cart, but I also got it into my trunk all by myself. The guys that were working out in the garden center kindly let me use one of their spigots to wash my hands off. I got them a little bit dirty again, putting it in the trunk, but oh my word, I was covered. I really had to like chant to myself, use your knees, not your back, use your knees, not your back. I'm so proud. Got two containers of spinach to plant, and I think that's enough to get started with. I will see you in a little bit.
Well, if the state of my hair isn't a good indicator, it's windy. Also, update on the bunny rabbits. They've all gone. Don't know if mama moved them or if they grew up and left the home, but the nest is empty. See? All gone. Fun fact I just figured out, I'm pretty sure the soil has manure in it. I definitely found some poo clumps. The more you know. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear me, but we're going to the shed. I got dad in tow, because he knows where all the tools are. Okay, now push it all the way back. But you see down there, it grabs ah, it. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I just put that in. I like that. So, where are your gardening stuff? Well, I needed this, but you also had a, a spade. I also need Dad's help with my raspberry rods. They're not standing up straight anymore after an entire winter of abuse, so I need Dad's help. He looks thrilled. So I was gonna plant my spinach here, but the ground is just too hard and unforgiving, so I think because I have space over here, I'm just gonna include them in this trough. People helping us landscape is gonna help me with my raspberries. That was kind. So here's the update so far. I'm trying to shield the mic so that the wind doesn't sound so bad. It's so windy. I've planted spinach. The owner of the landscape company that we've hired for other things came over and helped me figure out how to prop up my raspberry bush so that it's more of a bush and less of a nuisance. This is what I mean when I say it's windy. My hair is plastered to my head. And then over here, I'm gonna plant more strawberries. I only have the one plant growing back from last year. I wanna wait a little bit to see if any more grow, but just the one seems to have sprouted, so I may add more later. I was gonna plant some corn here where this weed bush is, but Sammy, the landscaper, said that the stalks would break because of the wind when they're young. So he mentioned planting them by the shed instead to give them a little more support. Honestly, he was just a wealth of information. It was so nice to be able to pick his brain a little bit on gardening things, just because I'm very new to this. The sound quality is gonna be terrible, but the breeze feels great. Hello loves, a little while later I decided to shower and get all of the gardening off me. After handling soil with manure in it, a shower was warranted. I couldn't really give you many updates while I was gardening outside because the wind was so strong. Honestly, I felt like a battering ram by the end of it. I had been blown away to pieces. I have zero idea how much audio you could even hear. I tried to cut my hand around the mic portion of the camera and speak into it like this. I have no idea if that worked or not. Only one of my strawberry plants seems to have grown back, so I'll have to go and purchase more. I want to dedicate that entire trough to strawberries. My parents are getting their landscaping done right now, and, and they've hired this company called Loza Lawns and Landscaping. I wanted to mention them because they're a small business trying to grow, and they're just the kindest people. In fact, I had a question about my raspberry plants, wanting to make sure that I was caring for them correctly because I'm sort of out of my depth. They've survived despite my ineptitude, but I wanted to ask a professional some advice. He came over and probably talked to me about my garden for at least 20, 25 minutes. He was so patient, so kind, and just a fountain of knowledge. I love when people are kind for kindness sake and I love a small business especially local ones so I thought I would mention them I know a lot of you watching are local I'll show you the card again so that you can 
screenshot the screen if you want, but they have done an overhaul on our landscaping. It's the front of the house, which I never film for privacy reasons, so I can't actually show you the landscaping that they've done, but trust me, let's just say I haven't seen it look that good in many years. So I thought I'd mention them in case you had any lawn or landscaping needs. As the weather gets nice, we start going outside more, we start noticing those things. We can't ignore them anymore. When we're stuck inside in the winter, we can pretend it doesn't exist and not look at it, but now, now we have no excuse. So if you wanna support a small growing business, that goes the extra mile and is friendly and kind as a bonus, definitely give them a call. They didn't ask me to say any of that, by the way. I just wanted to because I think kindness should beget kindness. Obviously, the garden is not quite finished. This was kind of a prep day more than a, it's done, let's bask in the glory of all of my plant babies. <laughs> Today is not that day, but I'll definitely include more gardening vlogs in the future as I add to it, as I learn things. For now, I'm tired. <laughs> being in the sun and that wind. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm really excited to see the footage back, especially of me trying to pick up that humongous bag of soil. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6 a.m. and sometimes on Mondays. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the family. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. Super exciting. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.